Well, good afternoon. My name is Leslie Parker, and I am the uh, Pomfret CRE, so that's Coordinator for Residence Education. Uh, he, him, his are my pronouns. Mm -hmm. uh, before we get too deep into the conversation, I want to give a big shout out to my man, Henry, our cameraman yeah. for this evening. What's up, y'all? Yeah. My name is Henry. Um, I've been the cameraman for basically all of these, so um, as always, I'll be monitoring the chat, um, making sure if you have any questions, and if you do have a question, I'll be sure to ask Leslie it, and let us know where you're tuning in from, like City and State. So Leslie, what's up first on the agenda? Yeah, so first up, like I said, we're here at Pomfret Hall down on the south end of campus. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're just off of Stadium Drive. Uh, we are on the south side of campus down here. Uh, we have our neighbors uh, to the south in mm -hmm. the Dovey Hall. You can't quite see that hall, but uh, they're right next door to us. Uh, right behind Pomfret Hall, right, is the track and field stadium. And then a little bit further up um, to our north is the uh, Razorback Football Stadium, the mm -hmm. Student Hyper, which is where we do all of our recreational activities. We're also really close to uh, the UREC intramural fields, mm -hmm. uh, as well as the University Razorback like Gardens, where a lot of tailgating things like that happen, uh, as well as like a lot of the green lots, which is where if a student can't afford or chooses not to get a resident reserve pass, uh, they're not a super far walk from their car, right? They only get a green pass. So really convenient that I experienced when I was a student here back in 2011. Look at wow. me. Wow. Moment, huh? wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. Seems like a great location because it's you're close to like fitness and like all the sports events. Absolutely. And yeah. you know, you have to go up to the top of the hill, yes, mm -hmm. to get to your classes, right? Uh, but we also have Rise Back Transit. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a bus stop right across the street from our hall, uh, and there's a crosswalk that connects that so you can get there safely. There's also the Eliminator, right? So if you mm -hmm. get those calves right, right? Mm -hmm. uh, then you can always hike up that thing, and maybe you are a hiker, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. It's a good exercise to get the class and get the blood pumping. Well. All right. What's to the to the right of us? What's over here? Yeah, yeah. So what you're looking at here is uh, one of our uh, newest additions to campus dining. It's called Pig Theory. Um, so it's a late night dining option. Uh, it's open on Sunday through Thursday nights. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's a late night meal option for students on the south side of campus. But it's so good that students from all across campus come and get it. They specialize in like pulled pork sandwiches, brisket, uh, and it's a combination of sandwiches. Um, bowls and things like that, so it's a really good option. I've enjoyed it myself uh, quite a few times. So it's gotcha. Really now. We just got a question come in. Can we see um, uh, room three sixteen in Wing D? Uh, we're only going to be going to B Wing today, right? Yeah, yeah. Only mm -hmm. going to go to B Wing. Uh, we're going to go up to the eighth floor B Wing. Uh, the good thing about most of these rooms here in Pomfret, they're all about the same size, right? I think the only exceptions are those that are completely at the end of the hallway because they're a little bit of a different setup. Uh, but for the most part, about 96% of our students are going to have the same room size kind of setup. The only thing that really changes from wing to wing is the view. Gotcha. Right? And the elevator. And the elevator, yes. Mm -hmm. The elevator. So B wing is the only wing that has an elevator that will actually get you up to your room. Other than that, uh, you have to take the stairs in D wing where there's four flights of stairs because there's four floors. Uh, and then C wing where there's only three stories. Uh, so. All right, gotcha. All right, now I think we're going to go see the front desk, right? Yeah, absolutely. All right. So this is the front desk. Um, so obviously, whenever somebody's working here, they can see uh, anybody who's trying to get into the building. Uh, we only allow uh, those who live here uh, to like fob in. Uh, mm -hmm. The way that our building works is that uh, during the year, uh, we have a dining hall here in, the, uh, in Pomfret. Mm -hmm. And so what happens is that um, those doors are unlocked right during the day so that anybody can come in and get some dining, uh, food and what have you, but they cannot get access to the bedroom, right? So that's still fob protected. So all the rooms are still secure, even though people can come from the outside into the building. So the students are still safe in this area, um, uh, but we just have the doors unlocked because not only do we have residents that come down, we'll have commuters and all the other kinds of people that will come uh, that are part of the university that will come and dine here and mm -hmm. dining also. Yeah. All right, gotcha. Now in here at the front desk, uh, you can rent out uh, video games, you can rent out um, cool sticks, ping pong balls, ping pong paddles, um, movies, like all kinds of stuff. This is also where you'll pick up your packages uh, if you have those uh, and we can't uh, fit them in some of our mailboxes here. We have a, a bigger package. Um, so your front desk is really a great source for information for a chance to meet um, our administrative assistants, our RAs, uh, but also get a lot of the things that will make this experience even better for you while you're here. Awesome. And so it looks like there's some study rooms over here. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, this is a study area that we have. Um, so a lot of students utilize it. It incorporates uh, 
uh, printing station. Mm -hmm. So it's not a full computer lab, uh, but it does have a printing station. Students can have one here. Of course, the Wi-Fi works built in wide, so mm -hmm. if they have a laptop, they can bring that with them. If they don't have a printer in their room and they need to print, uh, and they don't feel like walking all the way up right to the student union, then they can come here to our printing station here in the student study area, print off something if they need to, right? Study guides, PowerPoint slides, what have you, uh, so they can make sure they're ready for class. So. I think they could place. visit print.ur.edu and yes. find out more about the printing stuff. Let's just get a little quick walkthrough in there. Yeah. I'll kind of show it off a little. It's all, and we renovated this hall just, um, gosh, I want to say three years ago, four yeah. years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty renovated. Yeah. It was, uh, what's 2019, 2018? That's really convenient that there's a printing station because not all, not all residence halls have that. No, they do not. Yeah. No, they do not. We have our meandering path right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Can they do hammocks out there? Um, if they have a really long court, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, those trees are a little bit more spread apart than what we have on the mm -hmm. other side of uh, Plumford Hall between B-Wing and the Adohi Hall. Uh, those mm -hmm. uh, big trees are a lot closer to one another, so it's a little bit easier to him. Uh, but I imagine, yeah, you probably can him. Gotcha. One thing I would encourage, though, is um, if you go out here at nighttime, those, uh, I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but those lights light up every night. So we have these dangling lights that light up and make mm -hmm. the courtyards, I mean, just... I mean, perfect for Instagram, yeah. okay? perfect for TikTok. Uh, it's a really beautiful scene out here at night. Um, and then also here in the front of the building uh, that we'll pass by here. All right. We just got uh, some questions coming in. Some people were asking about seeing specific rooms. Um, so I know, just to clarify, we're going to be going to B-Wing on the eighth floor. Um, and so then we'll say what specific room number uh, we're going to once we get there. And so does every wing have printers or is it just here? The printer so, is just over here. So it's just here. This is the main kind of, well, not necessarily the main. This, this is Pomfret A. Yeah, it's this is Pomfret mm -hmm. A, right? <laughs> uh, so uh, Pomfret A is this area. Um, it's the dining hall. It's the great room. We're just going to walk through here in a few. Uh, but this is where, like, the printing station is uh, in one of the student study areas. But students also utilize uh, an area in D-Wing that we'll show you uh, maybe. Uh, it's a little classroom, right? Just a little nook that students can use. Uh, there's also the great room, which is also utilized quite a bit. Yeah. So, yeah. That's actually a good segue because we're about to head to the great room in the dining hall. Yeah. Yeah. And the laundry as, as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Which, you know, if we've got our new uh, Speed Queen yeah. laundry things in there yeah. yet? Uh, Maybe. I know, yeah. I know that we have them in B Wing installed. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And I believe they're still working on installing them here in C and B Wing. Okay. We actually just had a uh, presentation with them earlier today. So mm -hmm. it looks like, yeah, they got it. Excuse me. Yeah, well, <laughs> oh. great time to show. Yeah, yeah so, uh, <laughs> they're, so yeah, they're coming in. Yeah, they're coming, yeah, so, coming in. So, so, currently there's nothing in there, but there will be by the time you get there. Yeah, so, yes, they will be here soon. Uh, brand new uh, ones, too. Yeah, brand new washers and dryers uh, mm -hmm. in all of the resident hall, residence halls except for um, Duncan Avenue apartments uh, because those are housed within every unit. Uh, but, yeah, we just had a great presentation with them uh, earlier today, uh, and I uh, if we haven't released that information already on the housing website, I'm sure we will soon. Um, yeah. yeah, we we did release a YouTube video talking about the Speed Queen app on our YouTube channel, um, and so it'll be um, you get two washes and two dries a week, and any um, any wash or dry after that will be a dollar fifty. That's uh, individually, so dollar fifty for another wash, dollar fifty for another dry. Yeah, for sure. So um, we had a quick question before going to yeah. B Wing. Could you show us where the stairs uh, to C and D Wing are? They're right down there, aren't they? Uh, yeah. So. Mm -hmm. What you're looking at straight down the hallway here is uh, the back entrance to Pomfret Hall. Mm -hmm. uh, and so when you come in, when you come in for move in, right, that will be the lot that you park in. It's lot 64. Uh, so you'll come in off of that. And, uh, and I don't mind. Yeah, okay. Sure. I also have plenty of other questions to ask you all. <laughs> there. Yeah. yeah. So when you come in off the lot, right, uh, you will only see D Wing to your immediate left, uh, mm -hmm. the first floor of D Wing. We're headed west right now. Yes, mm -hmm. we're headed west. Yeah. We're headed west. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, so yeah, when you come in off the parking lot, uh, here to your immediate left is D-Wing. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so there's those four steps there. Um, well, actually, bottom steps. Uh, and then uh, you will. There's only a stairwell, and so you have to take the stairs to get up to either the second, third, or fourth floor. Um, if for some reason, right, if you know you live on the second floor and you want to try and take like a dolly or something like that up there, uh, you will still run into another two or three steps, 
but you can utilize uh, the elevator system to get you up to the second floor, all right, and get there, right? So it's a roundabout way, but gotcha. You know, it's up kind of to you if it's worth the time. All right. So now I think we're going to head back to the great room to show that off, and I have some, some questions to ask you on the way there. Yeah, so um, is the end room going to be the same exact layout in B-Wing as in D-Wing? In Would you, D-Wing as, as in D-Wing? Yeah, so are the end rooms the same the same layout? Yeah, yeah. it's the same layout uh, mm-hmm. where there's the two beds, right? There's an armoire, uh, and then the two desks and drawers and dressers and everything. So it's the same gotcha. layout because the rooms are essentially the same size. Mm-hmm. They're just in different parts of the building. And the end rooms yeah. both have uh, 80 inch long mattresses too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whereas in the other rooms, it's a mixture between door side and window side. Gotcha. Another question we had, this is about kind of room mm-hmm. side. So my son is assigned to C-Wing uh, 215A. Mm-hmm. Does he have the twin bed? Besides, the, the way that we work it is, when you walk in, the room, the, the side of the bed that's to your left, that's going to be A. The one to the right is going to be B, right? So, uh, By default. By default, mm-hmm. right? So but it doesn't have to be It doesn't have way. to be, right? But mm-hmm. typically when you see, like, uh, that little A beside it, it means that when you walk in, it's typically... It's to the right, I mean to the left, or the one that's um, furthest away from the door, right? Gotcha. Sure. But roommates can navigate that themselves. Exactly, and make changes. right. Mm-hmm. So if you're, if you're confused, right, talk, we'll, we'll always give those instructions when you check in and get your key cards to try and instruct students on exactly which side of the room they're on. Mm-hmm. If it turns out that they're on the wrong side, what we always advise students, everybody watching this, we always <laughs> advise students, okay, to at the beginning of the year, okay, if you are confused and not quite sure if you're on the right side or what have you, you can do this during move-in, you can do this uh, the next few weeks afterwards, but sometime within the first couple weeks of being here, we just need you to go by the front desk and to like tell them what side of the room you're on, and if it's on the incorrect side, see what we can do to just document right the correct side that you're supposed to be on, and if you know we need to change it in the system or what have you, uh, then we can have that discussion. But this is just to make sure that at the end of the year, we're charging the appropriate people but even if that doesn't get corrected, we have systems in place to make sure that the people who should get charged for these things do get charged for those things. All right. All right. Um, awesome. Thank you for the explanation. So, uh, it, uh, we know it's a tricky situation. Yeah. So, so what's, this, what's this big old room? Yeah. So this is the Pomfret Great Room, the mm-hmm. historic Great Room. I say historic. It's been around for a long time, right? It's mm-hmm. Pomfret's been around. Um, but it's been renovated um, when we did the overhaul. Uh, It's a great space for programming. Uh, Our plan is to have programs in here every single week for residents, Uh, not only the students uh, and the freshmen who live in our residence hall, right, but uh, we have students from all across campus who are always invited, and then we also will be encouraging our off-campus freshmen to come to our hall and other halls to partake in this freshman experience, right, Um, in this programs that we have in here. So we've got ping pong tables, we've got a pool table, a little air hockey table, and then there's plenty of seating and gathering space here. There's also to your right a piano room. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess to my left now. A uh, piano room that they can come in and play yeah. the piano. Is in. it unlocked? Uh, I don't think it's unlocked right now. We just had band camp in here and they were storing mm-hmm. all of their like, oh, gotcha. beats and things like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, and then we have my staff in here right now. Uh, I can't see that right now. We're getting ready for all of that. <laughs> um, but uh, this is an area where it's what we call the movie room, but that's where the gaming system is. Uh, we've got pretty massive TV in there uh, where you can come and hook up uh, any game systems that we don't have right and play your games in there uh, and then just off of that we have the kitchen mm-hmm. all right so the kitchen has uh, newly delivered uh, vending mm-hmm. machines since we switched over to coca-cola oh sweet uh, from Pepsi uh, and then right now you've got uh, some of my snacks from RE Training in here. Uh, mm-hmm. So if you wanted to show them a little bit of that. So it's got a refrigerator yeah. uh, for students if they don't have a mini fridge of their own, uh, plenty of cabinet space. Mm-hmm. Uh, the kind of hall directives we give is just that we don't ask, we ask anything that's not in here too long, right, to where it spoils and gets nasty. Uh, and then we just ask them to clearly label it. Um, so that it's a community uh, kitchen, a community refrigerator. So we just want to make sure we respect the space uh, that we're using it. Respect from everybody, so. All right, gotcha. Right. And we had two questions come in. Someone asked, "Is this recorded? My video keeps freezing, and this will be recorded and uploaded onto our YouTube channel." 
Second question was again about uh, different layouts for the end rooms. Yeah. Um, I've seen two different layouts for end rooms, one with two accent walls with the door being in between the dresser, the other one with one accent wall but same layout. Is there any way to verify uh, which one we have or do you just have to wait until you move in to see? Um, I would think that uh, contacting us at housing mm -hmm. would be probably your best way if you were to email housing at uart.edu. List your specific room and they should be able to get back to you with that information. Um, I'll be honest, we're, <laughs> we're, we've got a lot of people coming right now, so mm -hmm. we're gonna a little bit of time for you back to you. We'll definitely try to get back to you uh, before, before moving. Gotcha. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, if you all will email housing, right? So housing and you are uh, what they typically do then is outreach to us. If it's a question that they have about specific halls, uh, they'll reach out to the CREs of those buildings and see if we can't get that information to them. Uh, ASAP and usually what we do is like CREs will respond directly right to the originator of the request uh, and so I've done it quite a bit for quite a few families this summer since I moved into the building um, we're in RA training right now so the days are pretty long so like Christopher said it might take me a little bit of time to get back to you mm -hmm. but uh, if you are able to send that send those questions that you have can't guarantee it's going to come fast right especially if we get a ton of requests but uh, we do what we can to try and make things easier uh, for families um, yeah, I measured an elevator. Yeah, completely. Uh, yesterday, this is so, like hard working. Uh, yeah, 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 we appreciate. We do that. what we can to help, right? To to make this moving process as smooth as we can. Um, but we also have to be, you know, mm -hmm. honest about our capabilities and the time that we have to complete those requests. So. Awesome, thank you. We are going to go check out what uh, floor eight. Yeah, floor eight. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. All right. Cool. Any more questions? Or is that mm -hmm. good? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is our service center, I think. Uh -huh. right? yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you're calling fix it. This is fix it. <laughs> yes. I didn't even know that, and I've been here four years. <laughs> I had no idea that's what that was. Yes. So our service center, uh, they are there 24 7. So what they do is they uh, reroute all the calls that we get, um, and they put in a lot of fix it requests, maintenance requests, uh, things mm -hmm. like that. They. Uh, we may lose y'all for a second. Yeah, yeah, we're coming on the elevator. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, they're they're an invaluable part of our team because mm -hmm. they're who we use to keep documentation of things that are happening around campus, whether that's emergencies or maintenance issues or what have you. Um, but yeah, they're kind of like our control center. Mm -hmm. you know, Uh, yeah. All right, y'all, so we're back on the floor. So the question is, can you have two fridges in the dorm? Is that common? Uh, no. 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 So you, you can only have one refrigerator per bedroom, mm -hmm. right? So when you're talking about a traditional style hall like we're in here in Pomford, um, like you can only have one mini fridge in a room, right? And so that's something, that's a good way, right, to start that communication early with your roommate as you're setting up and thinking about who's going to bring what, right? Probably not a whole lot of sense in bringing two TVs. Uh, mm -hmm. I know I didn't when I moved into Pomfret back in the day. <laughs> uh, I brought the TV and my roommate brought the rug. I brought mm -hmm. the microwave, he brought the mini fridge, right? So um, to make sure we're still in compliance with the university so that I don't tell my parents, hey, I need this, 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 this. They go mm -hmm. and buy it and they're like, you can't even have it, right? Yeah. So uh, yeah, you can only have one a microwave, one mini fridge in your room. Um, and so a good, again, a good way to kind of practice that roommate um, communication early even before you get here. So, all right. Other questions? Uh, no, we're all, all up to right. do questions. Cool. Cool. Let's show all our right. bathroom maybe first. Yeah. Yes, and then uh, we'll go to one of yeah. those. Because I'm sure we're gonna get get a bunch of room dimension <laughs> questions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're gonna get yeah. locked in there, man. Uh -huh. That's that's uh, why we that's we'll why we ended up show an end room here Perfect. too, Perfect. as well mm -hmm. as yes. a regular. All right. So, uh, this is one of our bathrooms. Mm -hmm. right. Thank you. Yeah. So in B wing, the bathroom layout is just a little bit different than uh, what it is in C and D, mm -hmm. because in B wing, uh, the floors are only one gender, mm -hmm. right? So uh, I'm sure you saw it when Henry walked into here, but they the bathroom is accessible from both sides, right? So the same bathroom you can walk in from one side or the other. Okay. Uh, and so because of that. Uh, there's only two large bathrooms on each floor in B wing, mm -hmm. so the floors are the, all the same gender, whereas in C and D wing, well C wing is all male, uh, but the bathrooms, there's four bathrooms, but they're a little bit smaller, and you can only enter from one side. Um, all right. So, the, but there's one on each side. Right? Gotcha. Uh, and then in D wing, uh, same thing about 
four bathrooms on each floor, uh, but the genders are a little bit different, uh, and I think it's about four. So. Gotcha. I'll do a quick look, look yeah, in here, so if people can see. Showers, highly recommend getting a shower kitty, getting shower shoes. So this is what a shower looks like. And you have a bench here to sit down, store some of your stuff. And then again, these are um, bathrooms, the sinks, and uh, uh, stalls. Perfect. All right. And this is um, set up for women right now on this side, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. All right. So now we're going to the part everyone's been waiting for, seeing the rooms. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're starting with the end room first. We're going to start, yeah, with, the start with the end room. So this, I know we had one of the comments earlier, right, uh, about this layout of some of the rooms. So this is one of those end rooms where the uh, mm -hmm. door is in the middle of the gotcha. room. Right. All right, let's get on the light in here. Yeah. Yeah. So starting from, um, from the door, there's two sets of, mo uh, of movable furniture. All the furniture is movable. Be sure to let us know uh, what questions you have. I'll go ahead and open up the uh, the armoire. And the furniture is standard across all the rooms, right, Leslie? Yes. Uh, in a room, it's a little different mattress. That's it. Yeah. Oh. It's an 80 inch mattress. Gotcha. It's the same. Um, this is 808. Mm. 808 for anyone who's who's living in this room. You have a nice view of the of the arena. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, let us know if y'all if y'all have any questions about about the end room, and then uh, we'll go see uh, go see uh, the uh, regular room, which most people will have. Uh, all right, all right, let, let's yeah, let's go see the uh, the other room. Are mattresses down low by default if you don't request lofting? Uh, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So what we do uh, is that's fine. One, it's not lofting. So yeah, I'll just show you really quick. So mm -hmm. if you see these beds here, mm -hmm. uh, these have all been requested to be lofted, mm -hmm. right? By students and parents before the student arrives. Uh, and so what we do at move out, right, is a request that all students move the beds back down to a um, ADA regulation height, right? But they can also submit that same request to have them de-lofted at the end of the year. And we always have floor meetings to remind them like, you need to do it by a certain date. Uh, mm -hmm. And so the same way they didn't have to loft them before they got here. They can request to have them de-lofted when mm -hmm. they get ready to move out. Uh, we just give them those steps. Uh, but if they do not request it, these beds go every three inches from 24 to 59 inches. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they and do is, not request it. Yeah. Is 59 inches the max? That's the max. Okay. Please. That's you kind of read the mind of one of our one of our viewers because they asked what is the what is the max height? Yes. And this is the kind where you have to knock them out and then flip this right here. Mm -hmm. And so you'll do that using a uh, using a mallet Road that you mallet. can that you can get from the front desk. Let's turn on the light here. So again, uh, pretty much the same same furniture. Um, and this is what most of the uh, most of the rooms will look like. I feel like yeah, ninety percent of the rooms are gonna look just like this. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a difference in the beds. Mm -hmm. uh, window side and door side are two different. Two different heights. Mm -hmm. Two different. I'm sorry, links. Links. Uh, which one would be the? Uh, yeah, which one? Which one? Yeah. Do you mind if we measure? Yeah. Mm -hmm. the length of this mattress. Yeah. Check side. Do you want to be on? Take this paper and get mm -hmm. Six feet, eight inches. Six feet, nine inches, okay. All right, and then let's get get this one over here. And that'd be six feet, two inches. Okay, six feet, two inches. So this bed is uh, six inches uh, longer. Mm -hmm. um, and so these are these these would be considered twins? Um, yes. Okay. Um, and... I know we've gotten questions in the past about like, oh, do you need twin sheets, twin XL sheets? I've always, even if you get like twin XL sheets for like a regular twin bed, um, it, it, it's gonna fit fine. You know, you may have a little bit extra room, but better extra than, than not enough, you know? Yeah, yeah. we so, always recommend twin XL. Yeah, so uh, next question we had is, how do you request to get a bed lofted? And a follow-up question, which was, uh, if you request lofting now, can it be done prior to move-in? Yeah, 
I don't think so. Uh, yeah. The end of the month. I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. August 1st is the last day we could sort of guarantee we were going to do it. Mm-hmm. We'll do it as quickly as we can, but it may not be done when you arrive. Yeah. Because you. But you're going to request it. Just um, go into Google and type in mm-hmm. UARC and fix it. And you should be able to request through the fix it uh, form. So to clarify, you can still request it. It just won't be done before moving. Yes. Gotcha. All right. Next question. What does the window view on the other side of the top floor? So if we're viewing... Yeah, so this is this the side. wing and you are on the uh, west side of the mm-hmm. floor, right? So on this view, you've got the view of uh, the football stadium, right? The hyper, that's that white building there in the background. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, you see C and D wing, uh, the Jones Academic Center, uh, some parking lots, and then the tracking building. Mm-hmm. On the other side, all right, um, if you're on the other side of the hallway where the windows are, then your outlook is looking at Doki Hall, mm-hmm. as well as like Fayetteville High School and their athletics complex, as well as just the neighborhood uh, over there. Gotcha. Tire, tire All right. All right. We're tire south. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're facing north. Gotcha. Next question. What is the height from the window sill to the, uh, to the ceiling on the window side? So um, just from this, this ledge up. Sorry, I, I was in the. No, could have let you gone in through this cranny. All right, it's five feet two inches. Five feet two inches. I just got a question that we haven't, been, we've never been asked before, but I'm excited about it. How do you know who your RA is? Oh, I right. know. So you will meet your RA. Chances are, honestly, probably like the day you move in. So all of our RAs work, um, move in, um, unless they've been exempt for you know some very extreme reason. Which, mm-hmm. I mean, honestly, a lot of times it's because they're studying abroad, like, uh, it's an amazing opportunity, it's towards a degree or what have you. But uh, if you don't meet them at move in, you will meet them at some point, probably during your first week here, right? So we um, have a week, which is, it starts that Sunday after move in ends, so I think it's the 15th of August. Uh, and it's a full week of just tons of campus events. Uh, and on top of that, you will have meet, met your RA uh, either the day you move in, right, or at some point during, like, the week of move in. Um, because that's their job, right? So mm-hmm. at some point they'll come around, introduce themselves, they'll add you to the group meet, right? They'll put up QR codes or knock on doors, right? They'll mm-hmm. have your door decks on your doors already when you uh, move in. They were made by your RA, so you'll have a chance to meet your RA. And man, oh man, I, we are preparing for you. We mm-hmm. got a great staff this year, uh, great RAs all across campus who have uh, dedicated themselves to being that transition guide for you, that mentor, a uh, big brother, big sister, big person right that really cares for you and, and really wants to get you connected to campus and maybe some of you watching mm-hmm. yeah will be interviewing and mm-hmm. applying to be an RA uh even this fall right so mm-hmm. uh some of you all right you're just coming into your freshman year right now mm-hmm. uh, looking forward to having an awesome time and uh you might look up and come spring semester you might be an RA yeah. uh so if things happen fast right but it's a it's a well worthwhile job and um yeah, uh, yeah. I, I loved it, and I know our staff loves it too. Yeah, so. I was an R. I'm biased. I yeah, was an RA yeah. for I was an RA for three years. Yeah. I mean, cannot recommend it more. It's one of the one of the best jobs, and one yeah. of the most interesting jobs you'll ever have, and it's really good experience while you're in college. Yeah. Well, say here you gonna make me cut a promo, man. I know. Oh, yeah. Well, I saw I saw <laughs> I saw that question. I got so excited. I was like, oh, a question about yeah. RAs. There we go. So um, another question: yes. What is the address for packages? The address for packages. Uh, it will be your PMB number, so PMB, uh, and then whatever it says in your university housing portal. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then my details page. Yeah, and mm-hmm. then it's 31 South Stadium Drive, uh, mm-hmm. Fayetteville, Arkansas, 72701. Right. PMB stands for personal mailbox. Yeah, personal yeah, mailbox. Yeah. Um, and again, that'll be on your on your housing portal. Um, what room are we all in right now? Thank you. Yeah. So, Let's see. We are in room eight. 812. 812. 812. 812. 812. All right. So if you're in 812. This is your room. Yeah. This is your room. This is your view. Yeah. Very cozy. Um, so that's uh, all the questions we have now. But I was wondering, could you talk a little bit about what A Week is? Yes. Mm-hmm. So A Week, like I said, is um, it's a university-wide programming initiative, right? So um, A Week happens between move in and the start of classes, right? And so we don't want any students to get here, right? And then it's like all this excitement of moving in, right? Mm-hmm. Independence and all these things, and then you just sit in your room for a week. And it's like, oh, nobody wants that. Yeah. This is not what I thought college was gonna be, right? So A week, 
there's so many events you will not be able to go to all of them, right? You can try, mm-hmm. but there's so many that happen at the same time, right? Like it's just really, really hard. So we have a lot of major events like Taste of Fedville, Trivia Night, uh, Chocolate, Wasted. Chocolate Wasted, right? And those are all university housing sponsored events, right? So you know, you want to throw those out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then there's also tons of events from um, you know university programs, uh, academic departments, right? Is uh, it Traditions Night? I think too. Or yeah, something like that. the, the, pe- I mean, the freshman pep rally. rally. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. So the freshman pep rally. Mm-hmm. Uh, what we usually so. do is we have our first floor meeting. So it usually happens the Sunday um, uh, at the end of a week, right? So it's kind of how mm-hmm. we conclude a week. Uh, but it's a Sunday before classes start. So we have our uh, floor meetings in the residence halls, right? And then we use it as a building once those floor meetings end. We all group up together and we'll all walk to the football stadium, um, all the residence halls from across campus. And then we'll have um, the fair freshman pepper rally. I love it because I get to teach, you know, thousands of students how to call the hogs and do all the cheer tests. Because I tell students, I work all the football games and a lot of the basketball games. And I tell them, hey, man, live it up. Go crazy in the student section. That's what's expected, mm-hmm. right? So I did that as a student, and I cherish those moments. And now that I work the games, I get to teach them all the traditions because, you know, you do the one, two, mm-hmm. everybody mm-hmm. point a million different directions. And I'm like, no, oh, man, no, is that, that way. way? Yeah. Okay, you got to just know it. You got to know it. We got to mm-hmm. teach them, all right? So uh, A-Week is, like I said, there's so many events. There's a bunch of large events, right? Um, but like I talked to students and parents during orientation, there's also a lot of smaller events, right? So we have like new student welcomes and new student uh, mixers and affinity group mixers and things like that for smaller groups with uh, people of varying identities, right? Uh, that can come together in these small settings, right? To get to know other people uh, who are like them or have similar life experiences. So it's, it's a lot of small events, a lot of big events, but uh, again, the goal is that you find kind of a welcome here. Right. Where you belong. Where you belong. Right? Exactly. That's, that's, that's one of the biggest things we can do for our freshmen coming in is to help them get connected. I know I, I was working a hog sink table and you all might have seen me there. Mm-hmm. I, I really pushed hog sink and how important it is. And it is, right? And the whole purpose of having things like hog sink and A-Week is to help our students find their place on this campus. Right? We, we don't want students to look back at the end of their four, five, you're like me, six years <laughs> of being an undergrad, right? And say, huh, I got through it, right? Mm-hmm. We want them to look back on this time and say, man, I wish I could relive that time in my life, right? Because it's been so transformative. It's been so inspirational. It really opened my eyes to so many different opportunities that I had never even heard of before I got to college, right? And I've met so many amazing people who poured into my life who I got to meet, who I got to just live life with, right? And that's the experience that we want. And we believe that that starts freshman year and it starts the very first day that they're on campus, the very first week that they're off by themselves, right? And the parents have already left and the tent shoes and the tears, right? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, your dad's already turned your room into like the man cave and stuff like that, right? Like we want it to be uh, a place where you all really cherish and we know that starts freshman year. Uh, and we want to start that freshman year off to it. Really great start, so. Awesome. Thank you so much. We had another question. Um, I'm not sure if I understand what it is. Maybe it was a typo, but what are the A team meetings? The A team meetings? Yeah. I think, yeah. I think, do you, do you know what that means? Or maybe A week. Maybe, 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 maybe yeah. A week. That, that's what I fear it is. <laughs> yeah. I know. I was like, I, I hope I'm not like, is there something called yeah. A team? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I do know the A team. Yeah. Yeah. I'm picturing, uh, yeah. What's it, uh, yeah. Uh, what was his name? <laughs> there's Murdoch. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then who's our guy? Oh, man. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. Good show. But um, I assume we was talking about A-Week, but yeah, A-Week is just... B.A. Uh, Baracus. Is that what we're talking about? Yeah. We're talking they, about that, yeah. They said they are held during A-Week. Oh. Um, we, yeah. I guess that may not, they may it not be, be a housing campus. thing. It might be another campus yeah. initiative. Yeah. That, uh, that we're not exactly familiar with, but yeah, yeah follow up, please. Mm-hmm. Yes. So um, yeah, um, I think so. That's we're all up to date uh, with questions, so we'll probably in um, in pretty soon. Yeah, we can mention that locking um, thing. Sometimes they're curious about that. You will yeah, have a space yeah. where you can lock. Mm-hmm. This is kind of a space, and yeah, be sure. Strictly th- padlock. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and there's Ethernet here if you have an Ethernet cable. Um, we just had a question: Are there no shelves on the walls? Does not no, look like no, it. No shelves on the walls. So you're thinking of the old pumper. That's when I was here, right? <laughs> <laughs> Walking in and there was like a built-in wall of everything. Yeah, no, we, we don't have those anymore. Mm-hmm. Uh, with the renovations, we 
made it all movable furniture uh, where students could, you know, bring their custom made things, right? If you were talking about the old school pomfret, there would be the built in um, kind of cubbies, right? That kind of served as makeshift closets, the built in, you know, dresser with a TV stand built in, right? And then there were also those uh, on the wall. You can kind of see some of the mm -hmm. lines here, right? From oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> back in those yeah. days, right? Uh, where it was just solid on the wall overhead shelving and desks and things like that um, and just other, you know over the years i think we've requested to have more movable furniture than we have in other residence halls and so during the renovations that's uh, mm -hmm. the decision that we made so gotcha yeah. i had two more questions for you um someone was asking if you could show an end room in c wing um so we're we're only going to be in b wing for today but i know we showed the end wing earlier and i'll be uploading the youtube video um within the next day or two uh to, to review that again um, and there's also uh, previous uh, live streams of, of York Home Live of, uh, of Palm Prep. What is the height between the closet and the ceiling? Two feet. That's what that's for. So it's one foot, 11 inches. Gotcha. All right. We had another question. I think when I said the end, people were like, oh, we got to ask your questions. Ask your question quick. So... Can you uh, uh, loft your own bed or do you have to put in a request? Um, so could you explain that, that again? Yeah. No, so you can loft your own bed, right? Mm -hmm. you, that is an option that you have. Um, I, think the, I think it was on the website that August 1st was like the last day that you could request it and have a guarantee that it'd be completed before moving in. So you can still submit a fix it request. Uh, and I think it's just like fix it, so F I X I T um, dot uark.edu. Mm -hmm. If you go there, it should bring up the form where you can submit a maintenance request to have us loft your bed for you. Mm -hmm. um, but because it's past August 1st, uh, it's just not a guarantee, right, that we'll be able to get that done before you arrive, right, so that when you walk into the room, it's already at this height. But yes, you can do that. Uh, my recommendation would be to team lift it um, because it's a fairly simple process, but um, if it's your first time doing it, right, um, then it could be a little bit more difficult. But it's as simple as popping off the mattress. What you need to do here in Pomfret is pop off uh, mm -hmm. this bed frame here, uh, this bed frame, which if you've got a mallet, you can request one also to move in, right? So if you mm -hmm. don't have your own mallet, you can request one. But you pop this frame off, um, sit it to the side, and then you need to flip these railings, right? So mm -hmm. if you can see here, right, there's all mm -hmm. this space, mm -hmm. right? But if you look at the bottom of it, then these rods, which is where the frame locks into, they go all the way down here. So if you flip it up, it now goes all the way here. up there. Exactly. Okay, so that gotcha. Means you can, that's how you get to that 59 inches that we referred to earlier. Mm -hmm. You have to flip both posts and then lock the frame back into it and into the mattress up. And gotcha. There you go. All right. So it sounds a little tedious. It, honestly, probably in reality, it only takes about five minutes if you've got two people. Yeah. Um, but yeah, those are exceptions. You can Probably you can technically do it on your own, but do not recommend. Do, uh, yeah, do not it, recommend. It is a two-person or yeah. maybe even three-person yeah. job. Yeah, so yeah, do not, do not recommend. But again, it's it's not like against cold or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, you all can definitely do that. We just um, you know, know it can be difficult. So yeah, we got two uh, two more questions. Uh, what is the width of the wardrobe and the depth on top of the wardrobe? So the, the, the width and then I guess uh, the depth like uh, here. So the depth is one foot mm -hmm. 11 inches. And then the inside Is two feet ten inches wide. Two feet ten inches. Okay. Yeah. And then there's also this shelf here mm -hmm. um, that you have. So. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, another question is: Is there AC in Pomfret? Yes. <laughs> yes. There is central heating yeah. cooling. Uh, this is Arkansas. You've got to have. <laughs> yes. No, we would. I, I, I know. Back in the day, right? A lot of these towers did not yeah. have mm -hmm. uh, central AC, right? Uh, you hear the stories about. Paul's having to choose, do you want telephones or do you want AC, right? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we all now have no telephones and <laughs> everybody has AC, um, mm -hmm. which is, you know, 
what's needed right now in this heat wave. So yeah, mm-hmm. you have centralized AC in the back. I'm standing right beside one right now. Yeah, there it is. I guess that you don't cover that, please. Yes. Don't yes. put towels over anything. Uh-huh. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, I know I keep saying this is the last question, Leslie, but oh, I have okay. I have one more yeah, potentially. Yeah, I've been all year answering one. questions from students, okay? Yeah. And fingers. So, mm-hmm. yeah. so what is the the depth of the desktop? So I assume just the, the top of yeah. this desk. So I guess cool. this way, I suppose. Okay. So it looks like two feet even. Yeah. Two feet even. Two feet, gotcha. Yeah. All right. Well, um, before we end, do you have any advice you would give our incoming freshmen? Yeah. Uh, I know we talked about it earlier. I would say get to know your RA, right? Their mm-hmm. job is to pursue you and build that relationship. But I think the more open you are uh, to building that relationship, right, the more accessible you make yourself, uh, the better your outcome is going to be, right? Because they already know so much about this campus, and their job is specifically to help you out. Um, that I think it benefits you to really get to know your resident. Uh, your RA and, and build that relationship because, um, you know, college is tough, right? Mm-hmm. College is also fun, but I think you have somebody who uh, you can know you can rely on and go and talk to um, regardless of, you know, things are going great or things are going not so great. I think that helps. Uh, and then I always just say, you know, be open, right? Be open-minded. I, I came here as a psychology major, graduated uh, with an economics degree and business management degree after having to let go of civil engineering uh, major, right? Like, got, get involved with as much as you can, right? Uh, figure out what's for you. Your freshman year, honestly, is about, you know, like exploring and, and getting out there and seeing what all this campus has to offer. Uh, there's so many opportunities uh, that are on this campus that's in Northwest Arkansas. Uh, and if you utilize those, man, you could end up going somewhere all around the world. So uh, just being open, right? Don't say, well, that's not my major, so I'm not interested, right? Like, you might, you never know. Uh, I would say, you know, explore what the university has uh, and be open to meeting new people. Uh, it's a community here, uh, and we try and build that. We're not perfect, right, but we work towards that every single day. Uh, and so you just never know who you're going to meet um, if you're just open to having that interaction. So Awesome. Well, thank you so much for that advice. Uh, before we sign out, I want to uh, advertise something about dining really quickly. Um, I know we touched on it briefly, but the Pomfret uh, Dining Hall is located just above the Great Room. And uh, speaking of dining, we will be doing a live stream of campus dining this Friday at 11 a.m. So be sure to tune in to learn about all the different food options on campus and how meal plans work. And with that, Leslie, you can sign us out. Thank you so uh, much. Yeah, no, thank y'all. All right, we'll see you uh, in about, I don't know, <laughs> six or seven days. <laughs> yeah, so, not long. Get we'll excited. Be, yeah, not long, we'll be here. Awesome. Looking forward to it. Thank you. All right.